नमस्कार स्वागत है आप सभी का सी आई ठीक एन सी आर टी के लाइव फोन एंड इंटरक्टिव प्रोग्राम में माई नेम इस तानवी खुराना एंड हियर वी आर विद साइंस प्रोग्राम फॉर ऑल द नाइन्थ क्लास चिल्ड्रन द टॉपिक दैट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इज चैप्टर नंबर थ्री एटम्स एंड मॉलिक्यूल्स वेल वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट एटम्स एंड मॉलिक्यूल्स आर वी आर ऑल्सो गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ दे वर्क एंड अ लॉट मेनी डिटेल्स रिगार्डिंग द सेम सो इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन प्लीज गिव अस अ कॉल ऑन आर नंबर विच इज डबल एट डबल जीरो डबल जीरो अभी के पार्टन डबल एट डबल जीरो डबल फोर जीरो डबल फाइव नाइन एंड द नंबर इज बींग फ्लैश्ड ऑन योर स्क्रीन एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू ई मेल आस द ई मेल आई डी वुड बी डी टी एच डॉट क्लास नाइन एट द रेट सी आई डी डॉट एन आई सी डॉट आई एन वी हैव अ गेस्ट इन आर स्टूडियो एंड शील बी मोर देन हैप्पी टू आंसर ऑल योर डाउट्स ऑल योर क्वेरीज लेट मी प्लीज इंट्रोड्यूस टू ऑल ऑफ यू शी इज मिस प्रीति गोयल अ वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू यू मैम Good afternoon children thank you thank you ma'am ma'am is a retired pgd in chemistry from somerville international school noida and uh, she'll be talking about atoms and molecules in detail in this particular program and before we begin this program let me please uh, give you an important information in yet another exciting edition of pariksha pe charcha honorable prime minister shri narendra modi will interact with students teachers and parents on 27th of january 2023 this town hall type event will be telecast live on all the major channels including doordarshan and all india radio and uh, in this lively program honorable prime minister discusses not only about managing stress but also gives mantras to live life joyfully as an utsav so make sure you watch this program live let's begin this program where we are going to discuss atoms and molecules so let's let me ask ma'am ma'am uh, what do we have in store for our children in this program today we will discuss about atoms and molecules what are atoms how atoms were discovered what how we can differentiate between atoms and molecules how we can differentiate between elements and compounds and also the law of conservation of mass okay so shall we begin discussing yes, these yes definitely so dear children first of all i want to discuss with you how the atom was discovered what is the mystery behind the atom so as you can see on the screen you can see the atom and electrons are revolving around it so how this atom was discovered it was by our rishi maharishi kanada of indian origin he was a great indian scientist and philosopher he also founded the school of vasisika and authored the text vasisika he pioneered atomic theory described dimension motion chemical reaction of atoms so how the idea came to him once he was moving with some food in his hand and he started throwing small particles of food and then it occurred to him that he cannot divide the food further into smaller parts so the idea of matter which cannot be divided further came into existence so we can say that atom is the particle of matter which cannot be divided further but this is an old theory as you know atom has electrons protons and neutrons so what is an atom atom is the smallest particle of a substance which can take part in a chemical reaction what does it mean it means that half an atom cannot take part in a reaction a full atom will take part in a reaction atom cannot exist independently except some noble gases you know noble gases are those gases which do not combine with any other element or with themselves so atoms of noble gases can exist independently and no other atom can exist independently and what are the examples of atoms for example hydrogen atom as you can see i am writing hydrogen atom is represented like symbol h oxygen atom is represented like o and there can be other atoms like sodium has a symbol na so if we write these symbols it means we are writing one atom now we come to the next topic molecule molecule is also the smallest particle of a substance 
and it has all the properties of that substance. So, molecule is formed by com chemical combination of two atoms or more than two atoms. Thirdly, molecule can exist independently. What are the examples? Examples are hydrogen molecule, it is written as H2, oxygen molecule O2, carbon dioxide molecule CO2. Anything comes to your mind? Yes, ma'am. Um, hmm? So, when we are writing O2 here, hmm. um, can we say that O2 and O2O, they are same or is there any difference between these? That is these? a very good question and I really want to answer this question. Hmm. As you can see, O2, O2 is a oxygen molecule, one oxygen molecule in which two atoms have chemically combined and they form one molecule of oxygen. So, O2 means one molecule of oxygen and how this molecule is formed? This molecule is formed by the chemical combination of two oxygen atoms and if we say 2O, it means two atoms of oxygen which are not chemically combined, two separate atoms. So, this means two separate atoms of oxygen which are not chemically combined. So, O is represented as atom and O2 is one molecule. Okay, so these two are different things. Yes. <laughs> So, next topic is what are the different types of molecules? Hmm. Can molecules be formed from elements or from compounds? The answer is yes. Molecules of elements are formed by the chemical combination of atoms of the same element of one element. As you can see on the screen N2, O2, O3. What is O3? O3 is ozone, oh. P4. P4 is phosphorus. So, these are molecules of elements which contain only one type of atoms. Then molecule of compounds which have two or more than two different types of atoms, atoms of two or more than two elements. For example, you can see H2O, CO2 and NH3, these are the molecules of compounds. I think you understand? Yes, ma'am. Then we will discuss elements. I told you molecules of elements and compounds, but you should know what is an element. Mm -hmm. Element is the simplest substance which cannot be divided further into simpler substance. That means which has only one type of atoms. For example, ox oxygen gas O2, O2 has only oxygen atoms. Mm -hmm. Nitrogen gas has only nitrogen atoms. Okay. Similarly, metals like you say iron, mm -hmm. iron will have only Fe atoms or iron atoms. Mm -hmm. Sodium will have only one type of sodium atoms. Mm -hmm. So, these are called elements which contain only one type of atoms. Okay. So, ma'am, can we ask here that elements and uh, compounds, they together form molecules? Yes, I discussed earlier that molecules are formed of elements and mm -hmm. of compounds. Mm -hmm. As I told you earlier, like you can see N2, O2, O3, these are the molecules of elements okay. and H2O, CO2 and NH3, these are the molecules of compounds. Okay. Okay. Yes. So, now we come to compounds. Compounds mm. means a substance, chemical substance which mm. is formed by the chemical combination of atoms of two or more than two different elements. Mm. For example, H2O has two kinds of atoms, H atom and O atom. Mm. So, H2O is a compound. Right. Similarly, CO2, CO2 has two types of atoms, right. carbon atom and oxygen atom. Hmm. So, CO2 is a compound. compound. Good. So, now we come to the most important law that is law of conservation of mass. Hmm. According to this law, mass can neither be created nor destroyed during a chemical reaction. Okay. What does it mean? It means suppose a chemical reaction is taking place mm -hmm. like A plus B giving you C plus D.
A plus B gives you C plus D. Suppose mass of X is 5 gram, mass of B is 10 gram. So, total mass of the reactant is was 5 plus 10 that is 15 gram. So, if we after the reaction, if we can total the mass of the product C plus D, mm -hmm. this will also be equal to 15 gram. Okay. So, there is no loss of mass during a chemical reaction, no addition of mass during a reaction. So, it can be said that mass can neither be created nor destroyed during a chemical reaction. So, what is the proof? How can we prove this law? So, I am going to tell you how to prove. So, to prove this law, we need some apparatus like conical flask, a very small ignition tube, one thread, weighing balance and cork. Okay. So, we need three pair, one pair of compounds, mm -hmm. we can choose, we have written three pairs. Mm -hmm. So, we can choose any one pair of compounds like barium chloride solution and mm -hmm. sodium sulphate solution mm -hmm. or we can choose copper sulphate and sodium carbonate or we can choose lead nitrate and sodium chloride. Okay. Any one of these can be chosen. Ma'am, apart from these three, can we choose any other combination? Yes, you can also choose silver nitrate like AgNO3 okay. and NaCl, sodium chloride. Okay. We can choose silver nitrate and sodium chloride. The main purpose is that mm -hmm. when these two compounds react together or these two substances react together, mm -hmm. we can see a chemical reaction happening. We can see that reaction is taking place. Okay. So, we can find out yes, the reaction has taken place and then we will measure the mass before the reaction and after the reaction. And then we can conclude okay. that this law is correct. Okay. And for this experiment, students need to go to their chemistry lab. Yes, yes. I am going to show. You can see here on the screen, mm -hmm. we have shown you a conical flask. Mm -hmm. uh, on the conical flask, there is a small ignition tube and the ignition tube has been tied with a thread as you can see on the screen. This is the proof of law of conservation of mass. That is how we can prove. So, substance Y and X, we have chosen two pair, one pair of compounds. Suppose here we take the first pair barium chloride and sodium sulphate. Mm -hmm. So, in conical flask, let us say we take sodium sulphate solution and in the small ignition tube, we take barium chloride solution. We tie it with a thread and thread is coming out and we cover it with a cork. Now, we measure. Suppose we get the final weight as 100 gram. This is just mm -hmm. an assumption. It may be more or less than. It depends how much chemicals you have taken. Right. So, before the reaction, the total mass is 100 gram. Now, what we do? We tilt the conical flask, we shake it mm -hmm. and then we mix the two chemicals together. Then you will see a white precipitate of barium sulphate is formed. You will see the solution has become uh, white. Before that, both the two liquids were colorless. Mm -hmm. Now, when we mix, we see a white PPT. What does it indicate? it indicates that the reaction has taken place. Okay. That is why the white PPT has been formed. Now, if we take the mass of this mixture, then also it is the same as you can see on the screen 100 gram. So, before the reaction and after the reaction, there is no change in the mass. So, we can prove that this is the law of conservation of mass. So, the mass can neither be created nor destroyed. Mm. Right? Right. So, we can f ask one question from you. As you can see here, the question is in a reaction, 4.2 gram of sodium hydrogen carbonate is reacted with 10 gram of acetic acid and the products are 2.2 gram of carbon dioxide and 12 gram of residue. Show that these observations are in agreement with the law of conservation of mass. So, how we will solve? Let us write the reaction. Sodium hydrogen carbonate. The formula of sodium hydrogen carbonate is NaHCO3. You can write in words as you have not learnt the formulas. If you have learnt, then it is good. NaHCO3. 
सोडियम हाइड्रोजन कार्बोनेट प्लस एसिटिक एसिड एसिटिक एसिड इज सी एच थ्री सी ओ ओ एच वेन दीज टू आर रिएक्टेड टूगेदर वॉट डू वी गेट सोडियम एसिटेट एन ए सी एच थ्री सी ओ ओ एन ए प्लस सी ओ टू प्लस एच टू ओके सो वॉट इज गिवेन डेटा इज गिवेन दैट फोर पॉइंट टू ग्राम ऑफ सोडियम हाइड्रोजन कार्बोनेट इज रिएक्टिंग विद टेन ग्राम ऑफ एसिटिक एसिड देन वॉट डू वी गेट वी गेट टू पॉइंट टू ग्राम ऑफ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड टू पॉइंट टू ग्राम इज कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड प्लस द रेसिड्यू वॉट इज द रेसिड्यू सोडियम एसिटेट प्लस वॉटर सो सोडियम एसिटेट प्लस वॉटर टूगेदर इज ट्वेल्व ग्राम एंड कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड इज टू पॉइंट टू ग्राम सो दिस इज द टोटल मास ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट्स एंड टोटल मास ऑफ द रिएक्टेंट इज फोर पॉइंट टू ग्राम ऑफ सोडियम हाइड्रोजन कार्बोनेट प्लस टेन ग्राम ऑफ एसिटिक एसिड सो वॉट इज द टोटल फोर्टीन पॉइंट टू एंड वॉट इज द टोटल हियर फोर्टीन फोर्टीन पॉइंट टू सो टोटल मास ऑफ द रिएक्टेंट इज इक्वल टू द टोटल मास ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट्स सो वी कैन से दैट दीज ऑब्जर्वेश आर इन एग्रीमेंट विद द लॉ ऑफ द कंजर्वेशन ऑफ मास राइट राइट एंड वी कैन सॉल्व वन मोर क्वेश्चन यू कैन सी ऑन द स्क्रीन वॉट मास ऑफ सिल्वर नाइट्रेट will react with 5.856 gram of sodium chloride to produce 14.356 gram of silver chloride and 8.5 gram of sodium nitrate if the law of conservation of mass is true as you can see the equation has been given we can write it in some symbolic form silver nitrate is agno3 plus nacl gives you agcl agcl is silver chloride which is white in color and sodium nitrate nano3 now what is given we are given silver nitrate is 5.856 g nacl no oh, sorry NaCl is 5.856 gram. AgCl, AgNO3. We have to find out. Suppose we say this is x gram. Okay. AgCl produced is 14.356 gram, and NaNO3 is 8.5. So can you tell me what will be the mass of x? We can solve it. Yes. We know that x plus 5.856 this is the total mass of the reactants will be equal to total mass of the products 14.356 plus 8.5 so what it will be if we add these two this we get 22.856 856 and x will be we subtract 5.8 5.856 is subtracted from this so x will be 22.856 minus 5.856 this would be 17 so 17 g so what is the mass of silver nitrate that will react with sodium chloride that will be 17 g so that is how you can solve the questions wonderful ma'am um and uh, i'm sure all the children they have solved these questions along with you this was a uh, really yes. interesting uh, not just we understood about uh, atoms molecules elements compounds and uh, law of conservation of mass but rather we even solved certain questions and we saw one activity as well the, which uh, students can do in their chemistry labs thank you so much ma'am uh, for this wonderful program and for this wonderful introduction the way you explained each and everything was so beautiful thank, thank you, you. thank you thank you to all the children for being a part of this program and uh, if in case you want to watch it again you can watch it on ncert official that is our youtube channel it will be uploaded on the channel very very soon 
uh, we are taking a leave uh, of you for now but uh, upcoming next is another special program of ours and that is our series on uh, cyber jagrukta divas the topic of discussion would be overview of dark web and vulnerabilities in current environment please watch this session and uh, keep your questions ready for this particular program and uh, before leaving of course a very important announcement and that is regarding Pariksha Pe Charcha. In yet another exciting edition of Pariksha Pe Charcha, Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi will interact with students, teachers and parents on 27th of January 2023. This town hall type event will be telecast live on all the major channels including Doordarshan and All India Radio. In this lively program, Honorable Prime Minister discusses not only the mantras about managing stress but will also give mantras to live life joyfully as an Utsa. Please uh, watch this program live and make sure you watch it. Thank you so much once again for being a part of this program and uh, please take care of yourself and keep on watching Evitya channels. I'm Tanvi Kurana taking a leave of you. Namaskar.